What's up tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. It was a scorching Tuesday at the US Open as on-court temperatures soared over 100 degrees. While the temperature rose, prominent seeds dropped. Eighth-seeded Na Li became the highest seed to tumble from the draw, losing to Katarina Bondarenko in three sets. Bondarenko beat Anna Ivanovic en route to the US Open quarterfinals last year. Svetlana Kuznetsova, the 2004 champion and the 2008 finalist, Yelena Yankovic, both survived stiff tests in posting three set wins. Qualifier Simona Halep served for the match against Yankovic, but the four-seeded Serbian fought back, winning eight stretch points to stave off the upset. I wasn't playing my best tennis, Yankovic said. I was just trying to find my rhythm out there and trying to do my best to get through. I'm happy that I was able to get through this match. Both Yankovic and top-seeded Caroline Wozniacki, who plays tonight, can surpass Serena Williams for the world number one ranking by winning the US Open. Get your match guess in now for the Wozniacki match, which was the match of the day contest on Tennis Now homepage. Kuznetsuva averted an upset loss at the hands of 39-year-old Kimiko Date Krum, who ousted Dinara Safina from the French Open first round in May. Asked if she envisions herself playing tennis at nearly 40 years of age, like her ageless opponent, Kuznetsuva replied, I have respect for her, but I hope I'll be home when I'm 39. The most unlikely US Open comeback story continued today as Croatian qualifier Mirjana Lucic who reached the 1999 Wimbledon final at age 17, defeated Alicia Molik 7-6-6-1 and will face Jankovic in the second round. Lucic won the first pro tournament she ever entered, and players including Steffi Graf touted her as the potential top 10 player. Though she won a Grand Slam title in doubles, she never lived up to the potential she had showed in her teenage years. The 28-year-old Lucic, who missed nearly four years of her pro career due to personal issues she would not revisit in today's post-match press conference, posted her first US Open main draw victory since 1999. I feel fantastic. I'm so, so happy, Lucic said. I worked so hard to get here. It feels incredible. Though she essentially walked away from the sport to put her life back in order after experiencing problems with her dominating father, Lucic said in her mind she never walked away from the game. Never. I was just waiting for my opportunities. I never quit, Lucic said. I'm 28 now. People are calling me a veteran, which is like, oh, so depressing. I'm like old at 28, but you know, I just love it out there. I'm doing what I love, and I know that there is still a lot of good tennis in me, a lot of good results. That's what's pushing me, and that's why I'm doing it. Number 16, Marcus Bagdadis lost in five sets to 32-year-old Arnaud Clément, the second oldest man to leave the draw. Marty Fish reaped the rewards of his new strength and fitness in fighting off John Hajik in five sets. Fish, who shed 30 pounds in the offseason, said his sleeker physique has made him mentally tougher. It's huge, Fish said. It's absolutely huge. I can feel how the other guy's feeling. I can see that he's struggling to move his forehand, even in the fourth set. I felt growth. The day after Roger Federer's latest trick shot, fans are still buzzing over the magical between the legs winner. The wizard with the Wilson racket pulled off his opening round win over Brian DeBool. With the win, the second-seeded Swiss raised his record to 16-0 in the U.S. Open night matches. Federer, whose back was to the net when he drove the ball between the legs, said he did not see the shot land and was in disbelief when he realized he had won the point. I turned around and couldn't believe the shot had landed in the corner, Federer said. The ovation was fantastic. Crowds went wild. You could see on my reaction, I couldn't believe it. It was the second straight year Federer has pulled off the rare runner tweener. He beat Novak Djokovic with another stunning between the legs shot in the 2009 US Open semis. Wife Mirka joined the crowd in rewarding Federer with a couple rousing ovations. The couple celebrated their one year anniversary earlier this summer and Federer said married life and fatherhood has not diminished his drive to win. I have the same fire, the same drive. I thought it might have a little impact on my schedule. Well, that wraps us up for today. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.